like hi. I'm gonna say hi. Okay. I think we're back. I think we're good. Hi, Pop Felfetti. We're back. Okay. There was <laughs> no glitch that, on this end. Okay, good. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> um, so anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. Um, so when you, when you came back, obviously being away for a while, was it kind of easy getting back into the groove then? Or was there some like, um, like a readjustment period? No, I think it was pretty easy. I mean, we had, um, I came out to shadow one of our directors. So I was here for three and a half, probably like a month actually, before we started filming. So I was just here sort of reintegrating and um, it never leaves you. It, it just like, you know, time has such a weird way of being. You know, a year can really feel like a minute and vice versa. So um, depending on its, yeah, place in your heart, I guess. So it just always felt, um, you know, a slightly different, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I guess I went off into just little uh, nostalgia land in my mind for a second there. But no, it felt really good to just come back. And obviously you just kind of like dust your, dust your boots off, um, even though I'm wearing different boots, but maybe they were dusty. <laughs> Hey, we, we love nostalgia, Brad, absolutely, so by all means. But um, yeah. so you said shattering one of the directors, so then can we expect you to maybe direct one of these, the next six episodes for, you know, the expanded Won't be one of the next. Wait maybe in the future, yeah. Oh, sorry, I okay. just totally spoke over you. I didn't mean to. Um, there was like a mild freeze there, but no, we'll see what happens. I haven't, no, it won't be in these next six episodes. There's, we have two incredible directors who are, um, uh, who have done uh, you guys would have seen a lot of David Boyd's episodes and I think we've had two uh, of Laura Belsey's episodes and so we have six episodes being shot three three and three so two simultaneously at the same time um, which is what simultaneously means um, <laughs> so we're having sort of a short schedule but it's a very strong schedule so basically we've got david and laura doing these two episodes and it'll be um it was all to limit um kind of to limit crews during covid and to be the most efficient with all of our new covid protocol um, but it's also a huge workload for them so it's great to have some very experienced directors biting off this piece of the uh of the steak, if you will, because it's, 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 it's really meaty and they have, they have to be ex extra creative because we don't have as many locations and as many possibilities of how we can do things. So, so having such seasoned directors at this moment is really, is really, really good and really um, necessary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and of course, um, there's been some very big cast departures um, since you had stepped away from the show. But then beyond that, um, what were some of the biggest changes you noticed in coming back to Sutter? Were there a lot of like really big, like substantial changes? Um, you mean in terms of like how with COVID and everything or just with um, with oh, being yeah. gone and coming back? I mean, just gone and coming. I mean, COVID too, but I mean, just in terms of being gone and coming back. And like, like you were kind of saying earlier, just kind of about getting back into the groove of working on the yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. Um... I don't know. I think that there are a few new cast members that I had maybe met briefly, but hadn't had a chance to, I still haven't had a full chance to work with. I will do in this, you know, if not in these six, then in the next season, you know, we have 24 episodes to do next year, right. which is amazing. Um, so we've got, that's a change. I'd love to say it felt really different. I think sometimes the scale of things feels different. Um, but that's sort of an ever fluctuating thing, you know, the ability for the show to feel kind of indie in one moment and then this huge action packed story in another. So that uh, variety is consistent, if, if you can explain it that way. Um, but no, I mean, we are going to be actually shooting digital, which I don't know how that's how that will feel differently with our show. Um, but that's another one of the implemented safety changes um, now for, for Walking Dead. So um but I don't know. Ask me like in a couple of weeks when we've shot one of these episodes and I'll tell you how, how crazy it feels. But yeah, definitely shooting the finale. Once I, once I was here, there's just a way that being on set and in our, so much of our family just has never changed in these 10 years of our crew and everybody. So um, you really do feel right at home. You kind of feel like, feels like, you know, my 175 cousins are all here and so we're back family reunion wise <laughs> my cousins my real cousins can attest to this <laughs> yeah because Brett Tarot directed this episode right 
And so yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Was it fun getting to just like step right back into it with Greg, you know, being there since he's been with the show for, since forever? Yeah, totally. It was just sort of like, um, I don't know. I mean, I know it feels like I was away a long time, but it really doesn't feel at all like I was away at all. What is the time you're here? You know, it's, it's like, um, I guess it's like riding a bicycle. You never really forget, but you get to, you know, look through slightly different filters of, of how you or your character have changed and mm -hmm. supply that stuff. Yeah. And we are seeing some bicycles now in The Walking Dead, which, you know, makes perfect sense, really. The yeah. The right there with you. What a trick um, that was. We got some wheels or however, however Powell's character puts it. It's funny. Princess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then we, we talked about this a little bit, but just so again, this, this being kind of the semi finale it was originally meant to be the season 10 finale, but then with COVID, the decision to expand season 10 by six episodes and finish with the expanded season 11. Um, what were your initial reactions when you kind of heard that plan as it was laid out to you? Yeah, um, so the plan to do these six episodes came pretty early on. Um, I want to say in the summer, they, they, they started, you know, waxing on the idea of these mini, which don't feel like mini at all, actually, now that we're here and, and getting ready to do them. Um, and so they had tried on that idea, and then that became more of a reality. And the cool thing was that the producers and everybody were just talking about, um, as we started talking about how we were going to do it, it wasn't, if this is okay, da, da, da. it's like, no, this is our plan. This is what AMC is setting us up with so that we can be safe. These are what we've asked for to be able to go forward and do these episodes safely and creatively and still to give people awesome, huge thing, uh, episodes. Um, and it always just felt kind of like an actual, you know, just an actualized thing, um, an inevitable thing. And so do, being here and, and shooting the episodes, I just forgot your question. I go off on these tangents sometimes. Um, the how beauty did... of live. <laughs> no, but you, you answered well. Oh. Question. Yeah, like how did it feel when you first heard the plans? Which, I mean, you, you answered perfectly, so you're fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. But then um, with, with this just being such a, 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 for lack of a better term, just like monstrous show, just gargantuan show, I yeah. mean, knowing, seeing this this ending now in sight, obviously, you know, it's it's a ways away yet. But just seeing that ending in sight, how does that feel as you, for you as someone who's been with the show for such a long time? Yeah, I mean, I honestly, I know when it comes closer to the end of the show, it's going to be, it's funny. We, 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 sh we shoot the seasons and we get to the end of it and we're always so tired and we're like, okay, cool. And, you know, I don't know if I have it in me, you know, when you get to these <laughs> last couple ones and everything. But I think something will feel differently knowing this is us all together and there will be other iterations of the show. So, you know, there's sort of the, the, the beauty in knowing that the universe will go off into these new and unknown territories. Um, but there's something also just simultaneously beautiful about us all. And I haven't been here since the very beginning, but I do feel like I've been here for a very long time. Right. And being together, um, to send it off with a bang, to send the mothership show off with a bang just feels huge. I mean, it's like somebody telling you that you're going to shoot the Lord of the Rings all at once. And you know, this is going to be a trilogy and you know, it's going to finish here and it's going to be, big big story and everything and you're gonna do it together so um that is probably what i'm focusing on more than thinking about it actually ending um yeah just because there's there's been so many those feelings come up when somebody leaves the show that that idea that um you know this 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 people that you never think will go are actually going and now a show that you kind of somewhere in your brain thinks never is going to end is actually ending so I guess this is my way of saying ask me again and you know, in a year and a half or whatever, <laughs> we'll see. But it's, we, got, we got a big road ahead of us then, till then. Can I pencil you in for a year and a half now? We'll meet back up here on IG Live. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. I'll put it on my day planner here real quick. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you, you did, and you kind of touched on this again uh, earlier. Um, just th so there is sort of a sense in, in your mind, and I'm assuming for a lot of the other cast members and the crew, just the sense of really finishing strong, of giving the fans this really kind of proper send off with the show. Does that sound like? Yes. Like, yeah. 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 And it's it's fun to know. Um, and I, I I I thought this before, but it was just you know, there's no abruptness. It's not suddenly that from one episode to the next you find out, you know, we're, we're having a true right. opportunity to do, to send the show out with, um, 
you know, in the manner that it was shepherded in. And, and I know that Angela is just really the right woman to take us there to the finish line. And I know that she feels hugely honored to do so. And, and we feel hugely honored that she's taking us home, basically. Yeah, I love Angela. I've gotten to see yeah. her times and she's just the best. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, but and again, you also touched on this. You're just like covering all my questions before I can even ask them. <laughs> but um, the, the idea of kind of expanding the franchise. So obviously, uh, World Beyond just debuted last night uh, as well. Um, there's the Carol Daryl spinoff coming up. There's also they're developing um, the anthology series with Scott Gimple. Um, so what, what do you kind of just think about those? And just are there any in particular you're really excited about just seeing where they can go story wise and character wise? Yeah, I'm really excited because I mean, I know for um, Norman and Melissa's show, the tone will shift and it'll be sort of this journeyman um, story. And I, I just knowing our writers and knowing obviously all my friends, the actors on the show, I, I, I feel that there is so much potential for how we can kind of tweak the world that we know and to and to tell it differently and just as a as a as a creative i'm excited to have a world that people are really invested in and the characters that people are really invested in and seeing how on a filmmaking level we can um we can be um creative about how we how we tell that story so you know, whether it's something with more levity, like The World Beyond. I mean, I've seen the first episode of World Beyond. I think it's probably going to get darker, but I really like the fact that because my my grandparents always said to me, can you find a, can you ask them to do an edit of Walking Dead where there's not so many zombies and it's not so gory? They always want to be like, you should watch World Beyond because it's not as gory and it's, it's, it's a little bit gentler, but I have a sneaky feeling it's not going to stay that way either, so... <laughs> Rather than walking dead, they basically just want walking. Yes, well. yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> or so dead, good. but not threatening. Yeah, no, you're fine. Yeah, the grandparent-friendly version of The Walking Dead, that'd be amazing. Yes. I would watch that. Yeah, I'm basically yeah. grandpa. Uh, but I think we can the, do sort of comedic or futuristic or, um, you know, just knowing even how our finale ends. And this is territory we'll explore on the mothership, Walking Dead, next year. Um, but just these communities there have a lot more together or a lot more locked down and, and what's capable within places where you've ex expanded technology and, um, you know, and what else is out there? I mean, what this helicopter that Rick went off in, like, what's the deal? What's going on? Where, where are all these things that we don't know about because we've been on the ground with this, with this crew. So yeah, we'll just see. We'll find out, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, finally, Lauren, um, so with, with the show ending, again, just this insanely popular worldwide phenomenon of a show with the Mothership show ending now in a few years, um, what would you like to people, what, how would you like people to remember the legacy of The Walking Dead? What would you like that legacy to be as the show goes off the air? Oh, wow. I think just to just to thank people for coming on the ride with us and to know that we all felt it together is the biggest thanks I can have for, for, for the impact of the show and for the connection that we've all built with, with you guys. It's just, I couldn't ask for any more legacy than I think what it already it has developed. So I'm just grateful. Very good. Well, Lauren, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for everybody for tuning in. And if you haven't yet watched um, season 10, episode 16 of The Walking Dead, uh, it is fantastic. It's one of the best, you know, finales, quote unquote. I've yeah, seen yeah, yeah. In a long time. Uh, but Lauren, thank again. Thank you so much for doing this. Of course. Thanks, Joe. See you soon. In yeah. 18 months. 18 months. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you. Uh...